Cash Car Buyer Strategy Follow-Up. Hello friends, after we produced how cash car buyers can outsmart dealers using their own business model against them, we recognize some additional facts that will help increase your odds of a positive outcome in this process. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. If you are either a cash buyer or you are a savvy financing car buyer, smart enough to get a loan pre-approved from your own bank or credit union, you should go back and see this video. Mm -hmm. But even if you did see the original show, stay tuned for these follow-up updates. In the first video, Kevin gave the example of negotiating with a 60-month loan term, but we want to change that advice for legal reasons. Focus your negotiations instead on a loan term of at least 72 months. A couple of great reasons for this. First, 72 months is the most common loan term right now, so it's very unlikely that you tip your hand asking for this. But secondly, and most importantly, 72 months also offers you another form of legal protection. You see, lenders are prohibited by law from charging prepayment penalties on any auto loan of 61 months or longer. Yeah. This allows you to negotiate a 72-month loan term without a concern in the world about whether you're protected or not. The law is on your side. So forget about what I said about negotiating a 60-month loan in the previous video. You don't have to worry about asking about prepayment penalties with a 72-month loan. So focus on 72 months instead of 60 and you are home free without a worry about prepayment penalties. We also want to read and respond to a few viewer comments and questions on the previous video. Here's our viewer Pad Juan who said, many years ago my boss told me how he bought a truck. He got low price financing through the dealership. Next day he went to the bank and paid off the loan. A few days later the dealer called him accused him of ripping him off. <laughs> My boss had the pleasure of getting a lower price and pissing off the dealer. You see, friends, people have been doing this for years, and it most definitely works. The double bonus, he got a great price, and he pissed off the dealer. Yeah. I also want to say something about Padwan's uh, comment. First, thanks for validating that using the dealer business model against them definitely works, and it has for years. Many car buyers have done this. Secondly, I want to comment on the dealer calling you afterwards. Sure, you might get a call from the dealer, too. Who really cares? Yeah. You aren't there to make friends, just believe us on that. I just respond with, well, it was nice doing business with you. <laughs> Who really cares if they get upset? Oh. If they had succeeded in ripping you off, you'd be the one upset. Totally. Do you prefer them to be mad or you? The very fact that they are upset with you tells you that you won the game and that's what it all boils down to. And by the way, people are forgotten so rapidly at a dealership that you could literally buy them all dinner and they'd completely forget you within a day or two. That's right. Viewer Frank Roth also commented, This video is so needed for those folks who lack the skills needed to successfully take on the aggressive dealer tactics. Bravo. Which is exactly why we published the video, Frank. Indeed. Here's Blessed to be Free who says, I have a potential transaction to try this on. I used your OTD used car email template to inquire about a vehicle. In response to number two, their response was dealer fee, electronic filing fee, and non-taxable fees add to 994. Dealer response goes on to say, all advertised prices are with dealership financing and include incentive for using one of our financing options. Ah. If you plan on paying cash or financing with an outside lender, there is an additional fee. <laughs> Might just have to see what that incentive for using our financing options really is. Thanks for the education, Kevin and Elizabeth. You are very welcome, blessed. Back with more right after this message from Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, Check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Not everyone understands that the technique of using a dealer's business model against them is totally an after-the-fact strategy. After the fact. If you're wondering what the heck we're talking about, you missed our previous video, or you just need a refresher. Go back and see it. Viewer RV asks, is it not possible to do these negotiation steps and just before finalizing, once prices are set on paper, go to the bank and get a draft made out to the dealership for the full amount of the vehicle? 
No, RV, no. And no to everyone else wondering. Do it all after the fact. That's the entire point. Leave the dealership with their financing in place and then pay it off or refinance it with your own banker right after you get your payment book in the mail. Don't tip your hand to the dealership at all. That's the point of this strategy. Like a savvy card shark, win the game and then get the heck out of there. Just don't forget my point about asking for 72 month terms. The law forbids any kind of repayment penalty on loans over 61 months. Don't forget that. A lot of car buyers have experience with or know of somebody who has used dealer financing and then just went home and paid it off like we recommended, saving them a ton of money in the process. Like viewer Trackman comments, excellent advice as usual. In 2012, I had a friend who wanted to pay cash without financing, but instead financed to get the $2,000 bonus if the vehicle is yes. financed through the dealership. Yes. He paid off the loan when he got the payment booklet. Another reason to finance if you are still paying cash. Boom, Trackman, that's exactly what we're talking about. We also saw some confusion about OTD pricing and questions if it should still be used. Yes, you should. Like this question from viewer Yaron, so THG, after seeing this video, it appears that you no longer recommend for a buyer to insist on getting an out the door price in writing before even setting foot in the dealership like you used to not too long ago. This Incorrect. is correct. Right. This is somewhat confusing. Have you changed your mind about the best way to buy a car, no longer get an OTD and instead go for a temporary car loan whose terms and final price are to be negotiated at the dealership in the finance office? Yaron, it's always a good idea to use OTD pricing. I would simply suggest adding this line to your OTD request. I'll be interested in hearing what your finance office has to offer if I decide to purchase this vehicle from you. Sure. This is likely to give you a faster and more complete response from the dealer. They might even drop or reduce fees in their response back to you, which puts you one battle ahead. We will update the email template on our website to include this line, so make sure you check it out. Remember that even if you get an OTD outline by requesting a visit to the finance office, you'll still have a payments discussion during the sales process and the opportunity to push for a lower payment, helping to push the dealer to consider a lower price on the car. You see why that's important? Also, don't forget that if you want to make sure you don't miss any future shows, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed just to help you get through the car buying process without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider leaving a tip to help us help the next person. You'll see a super thanks button below the video and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking on the read more button seen below. And thank you everyone. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.